Yes, thank you. I just want to also ask a little bit. We heard a, a, quite a bit there from the Minister of Health on the uh, capacity in hospitals, but I'm just wondering, Dr. Henry, if you can comment on, um, you know, the fact that we're now seeing this um, impact in hospitals. Uh, what is your feeling about the, the coming weeks, uh, particularly watching the pattern in Ontario? Yeah, you know, you know, obviously this is something we've been watching from the very beginning. We've presented uh, that plan that we have for the health care system and that plan still holds. So we meet every single day to talk about the impacts on, uh, on what we're seeing. Week, some of the information about uh, the percentage of people who are hospitalized, the, the age groups, whether we're seeing changes in that, and, and we are. We, what we're seeing is uh, the, the transmission within families and communities and, and settings um, is much broader now, um, and that's led to our increased case numbers. Um, so it is something that we will titrate uh, to the to the system, and but on a more um, local approach. So last March, when we didn't know what was in store, uh, we stopped all of, uh, scheduled surgeries. This way, we're able to do it um, with a, a hospital-specific approach. And um, I, you know, one of the things that I think, I, well, that I'm very proud of, um, that we've done across the province, and I think kudos to our leaders in the in the health operations teams is we're able to back each other up and help each other out. So when there was extreme pressures on some of the hospitals in the north where we know resources are, are more constrained, uh, patients were taken uh, by VGH or Surrey Memorial or, or sent over to uh, here to the island and we were able to manage um, supporting people around the province and that continues so that we can try and level out the resources, make sure that we have what we need in every part of the hospital system. Um, but it's a challenging thing that we're watching every day and, and I mentioned yesterday, I had, or last week I had the privilege of, of uh, going to a few of the, the COVID hospitals that have been working flat out um, over this past year and a half and, and uh, I think we really have cause to be, uh, to celebrate the, the teamwork that they've done and that has, what has helped get us through um, this last uh, year and what will continue to get us through. But we are paying very close attention to that and looking at that very carefully every day.